Guys, I do not recommend painting your basement until 4.30 in the morning. Bear with, guys. Bear with. Okay, so I've been working on this Here's the Thing song, which has been, I've been working on for like several days now. It's been over a week, I think. Now I'm working on the production of the song. I have the drums. Um, and my, I think my songwriting tip to today, guys, is pay attention to what inspires you because I was listening to another musician and the way they played the piano and there, and I was like, oh, I really like that broken chord thing that he's doing. Someone, please help us. Anyone. Um, I want to like try that when I get home. And so I was listening to this song, Fresh, and I was like, oh, maybe this section needs a broken chord area. And so I'm going to play for you what it sounds like before, and then uh, we'll talk about sounds. So I found this really cool sound because another thing about this song is it's within a musical that's set in the 80s and I feel like this song I'm like eh, it's not really it doesn't sound 80s it doesn't have like a, the same vibe as the rest of the music so I was like maybe I need to find it more of an 80s sound so this is like this this is Stranger Things man right here anyway so I was like, okay, I need to figure out some kind of broken chord thing. And I really liked this thing happening. But then I was like, oh, does it fit? And I don't know if it's going to fit until I do it. So I'm just going to do it. As you can see, my broken chords that I chose doesn't sound anything like his broken chords, but it was just something that inspired me to try something new, and that's kind of fun and exciting. So pay attention to those little things that inspire you.